Hello everyone and welcome back to Coded by Jedi. This video is tailored towards my preparing for a computer science degree series, where I go through everything I did to get offers to study computer science at university and what I'm doing over the summer to prepare for the induction term. This video in particular will be tips for mastering a UCAS personal statement for computer science based on my own personal statement, which helped me get four university offers, including three Russell Group universities. So, before writing a personal statement, of course you need things to write about. If you haven't already, it's definitely not too late to explore the field of computer science and get involved in a range of activities, whether it's something you already know you enjoy, as well as pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. For example, I personally attended a masterclass about World War II cryptography at Bletchley Park months prior to writing my personal statement. This was something I had never explored before. The trip did not end up on the final draft of my personal statement, but the experience definitely improved my perception of computer science and the subfields that encompasses it. When discussing the activities you engaged in your personal statement, it's important to remember the UCAS personal statement trifold, activity, benefit, and course. You must be able to talk about the activity entailed, making this brief, the benefit of engaging in said activity, and how this relates to your course. From what I have read from university pages, my own experience and experiences of my peers, I would say that the preferable activities to take part in are math or computing competitions or conferences such as BBRAS and the UKMT Senior Maths Challenge, learning a coding language if you don't already know one, such as Python or C++, learning the computational thinking elements such as Harvard's CES 50 course or Brilliant.org, which are great courses to get started, and completing a coding project if you can on something in the real world that you could feasibly solve or at least attempt to. I would say you should have around three or to five topics to talk about. It's important not to talk about too many topics in your personal statement because that would resort to listing and rob you of the opportunity to expand the breadth of learning and outcome from each topic. I'm going to start off with a simple template of how I structured my own personal statement, then I'll go into more detail later. So the template would be how you would define computer science, why you are interested in computer science, a computing project which is a computational coding solution, what are your passions for mathematics, and I'll go into that in more detail later, and the links between mathematics and computer science. If you um, were lucky enough to get tech work experience, then you can also talk about this. You could talk about computing research projects, either the EPQ or self-led, computer science topics that you're interested in that's not in your curriculum and non-academic interests. So, number one, how would you define computer science? Computer science is a very fast field and most people, especially as a prospective university student, are not aware of every single subtopic there is in the world of computer science. Therefore, beginning your personal statement with how you view this world is a good way to begin expressing your interests in the subject. Next, why are you interested in computer science? You could talk about what made you interested in committing to studying computer science over the next three or more years. What was it that you saw or did that made you so sure that this is the degree you want to pursue? It's important not to make this section cliche, such as starting along the lines of ever since I was young. Number three, completing a computing project, such as a coded solution. Technically, no programming experience is actually required before you start a computer science degree, but if you are familiar with a programming language, then a unique programming project can really make your university application stand out against the crowd. An additional plus is if the coding project is based on a real life issue that you have identified and wish to attempt to solve via a computational solution. Make sure that this project is well defined and feasible, as well as a moderately sized so that you can complete it before it's time to hand in your application. If you take computer science A level with a program in NEA and you're handing in your UCAS application after the October deadline, then you could talk about your plans for this coursework project in your application also. 
Next, what are your passions for mathematics? In another video, I will talk about whether A-level mathematics or equivalent is required for applying for a computer science degree. However, as this video is mainly targeted towards those applying to the most competitive universities for computer science, then assume A-level maths and even up to A-level further maths as prerequisites for your application. It's a good idea to talk about your mathematical abilities inside and outside of the classroom and how this ties well with a computer science degree. After all, mathematics is a heavy foundation of the field of computer science. This can be expressed in a number of ways, such as linking computer science and discrete mathematics, talk about preparations for competitive programming or even school math competitions, such as the Senior Maths Challenge, which is held by UKMT. If you're applying for a joint degree in computer science and mathematics, then of course, this section of your personal statement should be emphasized more. Next, tech work experience. With the events that I have pursued over the last two years, it may have been difficult to secure any computer science related work experience, and admission staff won't expect you to have this on your personal statement. However, if you haven't been lucky enough to secure such work experience, then this would be a great talking point for your personal statement. You can talk about how you were able to apply anything computer science related knowledge in and out of the classroom to this work experience and what you learned during the duration of this experience. This again emphasizes your interest and dedication to computer science and can make your application stand out. It doesn't have to go into so much depth, but it's important to talk about what you've learned from this experience and what you will do with this newly gained wisdom. This next part is optional, but to go a step further, you may wish to pursue an EPQ or even self-led research project in an area of computer science that you are interested in outside of your school curriculum. Just to note, however, not many universities take the EPQ as a qualification to help reduce your university offer, but some do. For example, Bath's typical A star AA offer for computer science can be reduced to AAA with an A in the EPQ. The EPQ is a great way to learn about even more topics you're curious about, and it can be a good talking point in your interviews, making your application stand out from the crowd and show your passion and discipline for computer science to study outside of the main curriculum. Next, to aid you in writing your personal statement, you may also find it helpful to stay up to date with the latest developments in the computer science and tech space. This may include watching channels such as Computerfile and reading the news. Personally, I use BBC News and Financial Times to keep up with the latest technology news and follow relevant topics on Twitter. Again, this is a great way to keep your passion for computer science ignited, as well as expand your horizon of knowledge of computer science. Additionally, you may also wish to critique any recent development in the computer science space, critically analysing the feasibility and even morality of certain announcements. A typical example may include discussions about artificial intelligence and machine learning. I did this myself in my own personal statement and the university actually pointed that out as one of the strongest points of my personal statement. On a final note, it is important to note that university is not all about academia. It's important to show universities that you're a well-rounded individual. Depending on the top university you're applying to, and by top I mean the one that you most want to go to, you should check their website to find out what they are looking for in an applicant. Some universities may want a whole paragraph about non-academic interests. Others may want you to keep it to a single line. Top personal statements are able to link how their non-academic interests link to what they plan to study at university, and in this case, computer science. To give an example, I discussed how my interest in art and music linked to the creativity needed in many roles in the computer science professional space. Make sure what you write is unique to you and not what you think they want you to write. And be sure not to list your interests, but to expand on them in depth. Okay, so this was a video explaining some of the pointers you may wish to include on your personal statement for a computer science related degree. I'll be happy to answer any more questions you have in the comment section 
and let me know if you want a more in-depth information. That's all for now. Be sure to like this video if you've enjoyed this content and subscribe, turning on the post notifications to be the first to watch my latest contents. Thanks for watching. Bye.